What's up with it, y'all? What's going on? Hey, check this out, man. We just had a great fight, man. A real good fight. These females put on better than a lot of the men. You know what I mean? That was one of the best fights I done seen, including all of 2023. And I'm talking about Michaela Mayer and Natasha Jonas. The fight was real close. You know, I like Michaela Mayer a lot. You know what I'm saying? I like Natasha Jonas too. You know what I'm saying? She's a two division world champion. But I knew with Mayer going overseas, in order to get the victory, she's going to have to really win in decisive manner. You know what I mean? It cannot be close. And the fight was close. But even though it was a high-level chess match, it was real technical. There was a lot of counterpunching going on. Jonas was waiting for her to come in. She was timing her. She was stepping off to the side, creating angles. You know what I'm saying? She was showing her, her defensive prowess. She was showing that she had ring IQ. Amazing performance, you know what I'm saying? But Michaela Mayer was walking her down after a certain point, landing hard shots. Like, she was rocking her like, I thought she was going to go down towards the end of the fight, but she got a hell of a chin. And then it went from like a technical fight to like a straight up dog fight. You know what I mean? Like they were just, they started brawling, slugging it out. Oh my God, that fight was good, man. So congratulations to Natasha Jonas. Very, very tough fight for both of them. I would love to see a rematch. Timothy Bradley said the same thing. But on my scorecard, man, it was so close to where I felt like it was a lot of swing rounds. You know what I'm saying? There were like at least three rounds that could have went either way. So I'm going to just show you what my scorecard was. Because every time I watch a fight, every fight, I always make my own scorecard. That way, if someone says, oh, this fight was a robbery or I feel like this guy won, I can always give my opinion and I can show the evidence. You know what I'm saying? Like, why I feel that way. I scored this round like this. I scored this round like this. So, pull out my handy dandy notepad for my scorecard. Uh, the first round I gave to Natasha Jonas. The second round I gave to Michaela. The third round was close. I don't, it could have went either way. You know what I'm saying? So I just gave that one to Jonas, but you could have gave it to Mayor. I gave the fourth round to Mayor, the fifth round to Jonas, the sixth round to Mayor, but that was another swing round. The seventh round, it was so much of a dog fight and such a brawl. It was kind of like watching, it was like watching Sean Porter fight Sean Porter. It was just hands everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just punches coming from all angles, landing hard flush shots on each other. I gave that round to Jonas. I gave round eight to Mayer, round nine to Mayer. She was really stepping it up at that point. But round nine, you could have gave to, you could have gave round nine to Jonas. It was close. At this point, they fighting their heart out. Now, this is the determining factor, man. Round ten, Michaela Mayer really took that round. I mean, I guess she didn't want to have another close fight, not go her way, kind of like the Alicia Baumgartner fight. So she made it a point to come out there in round 10 and really put on and just leave it all out there. I'm going to just come out here. I'm going to just brawl. I'm going to just throw hard shots. And she closed out in the 10th round. But they gave it to Natasha Jonas. Okay? I don't blame them. This was overseas. You know what I'm saying? She's from Britain. You travel to enemy territory, you really need a knockout to win or just a very decisive performance. And this was a really close performance. Like I said, I had one, two, three, four. I had four swing rounds. So if any of those swing rounds you gave to the other person, you could have gave it to Mayor. You could have gave it to Jonas. It was a hell of a fight, man. So congratulations to Natasha Jonas. She's actually in the Undisputed video game. And I use her sometimes. I actually got footage of her being used in the game on my other channel. I got a gaming channel, you know what I mean? I'll put a link to that in the description, but anyways. Big fight, big fight. I was kind of hoping Mayor won because that would set up a rematch with her, a potential rematch with her and Alicia. That was a good fight too, but it is what it is, man. Um, 
as always if you have not subscribed to the channel feel free to do so i'm not going you know beg you but you know if you feel like doing that i appreciate you if you want to leave a comment do that i just want to post about all these upcoming fights it's a lot of good fights this year we got Usyk, we got Fury next month. We got George Cambosis, we got Lomachenko in May. Canelo's fighting in May, he hasn't announced his opponent yet. We got Teofimo Lopez and, and uh, Jermaine Ortiz, good fight. A lot of fights, man, I just love boxing anyways, man. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, peace. <laughs>